Hi everybody, here's Christian from Team Cast. Uh, this is a short tutorial I wanted to add because I, I recently I discovered this little cool thing here called Pico 8 and I'm really fascinated by it and I want to start a new series where I'm gonna actually develop some games in this. So we're gonna learn in this series how to make games, how to program games and a little bit how to design games as well. Uh, but before we start I wanted to give you like a short introduction to the Pico 8 system, to the Pico 8 software. Uh, it costs $15 and you can get it on the website. There's no link here but I will post it in the, in the comment section in the, uh, or in the doobly-doo in the, in, on YouTube. So it's $15. Uh, it's I think it's a fair price. Uh, it's not freeware though, so uh, you know. Uh, but I really like it, and I, I think you should you should you should get it. So um, the idea is that it is a fantasy console. So it's basically like a very very low-fi 8-bit game engine, but also a game development environment. So it actually has all of the things that you need to develop games. Uh, to develop like very very simple 8-bit games and i'm going to show you give you a little run through if you got it perhaps uh some of the basic function how it works maybe just show how to get started on actually playing games so it boots up in this in this screen uh it looks it this works a little bit like dos so if you're familiar with dos you should know what's happening if you're not familiar with dos it's not that difficult in the first place so it already says like type help for help so i'm going to type help and you get like a list of all the things you can do in pico 8. And you know, um, there's like things you can create folders in here, you can uh, delete folders, you can change folders, all that stuff. Uh, but for now, we just want to play some games. So I'm going to start, um, I think the most important thing for like, if you want to actually try some games, is the explore function. And that's, you know, just sort for explore. It kind of starts in like this weird interface. And you can um, um, cycle through multiple categories. And for each category, there's like this update function here, or a lot of categories, there's update function. Uh, I'm going to go for um, like featured, so the best games. And then X and Y, or X and Z, I guess, for a different keyboard. I'm using a German keyboard. Uh, is like um, the A and B button. So the entire console, the fantasy console, only has the direction keys, like a, a digital pad. And... Um, and two buttons a and b uh right so if you go like update it gets like the most recent cards from the internet and it shows you like what games are currently available like featured on the, it's basically like a app store like 8-bit app store with some 8-bit games so really tiny little cute games and you can uh, select each one of them and it will download and you can try it oh there's some cool ones i haven't tried yet that's very nice uh, for example, Peacraft is kind of like a Minecraft kind of game. Um, let me pick something I'm, I'm actually familiar with. Uh, uh. Right, let's get go with Hug Arena. So you can just click it and it would get the game and you can start playing immediately. And there we go. All right, press action to start. And I think this is a thing where you have to hug people. There you go, hug that guy. And then I defeated this level. I'm the best at this game, hug game. Got some life, and then continue hugging. And this is the kind of game that you can make in the system. And the cool thing about Pico 8 is, and something I really enjoy about this, and something that's why I chose to champion this as the uh, system of choice when I teach how people make games, uh, people teach, teach people, teach new students how to make games, uh, um, is that you can, at any point, any game that you can download here, you can press escape and go like, um, actually, Oh, it doesn't have this anymore. Um, uh, reset card. No, wait a minute. Exit to explore. Uh, and then you can just keep, keep pressing escape. And then you can start editing this. So this is actually a code editor. You just get there with escape. And you can start, you know, seeing seeing how this game was made. So this is like basically like all the functions, all the code that makes the game run. And up here, you can switch the editor to different uh, modes. So the next one is you can see all the sprites that the game uses. And you can change the sprites on the fly. 
you can for example let's see you can make this this game uh, this guy you can make him green if you want to right like this now he's completely green you would have to change the other sprites as well but you get to get the idea uh and there's like this start screen here and you can change everything here uh there's also here this is the um, level editor for this kind of game it actually doesn't have a level it, it has like th these weird things i'm not exactly sure what this is i think this is kind of like different levels it starts with two characters and has three characters then like the different enemies that you have in the game but usually this is a map editor you can kind of basically draw big maps levels and stuff like that and the last two things are sound this is for sound effects uh so i think wait a minute uh, it has different different um, viewing modes. If you play play space, does it work? There we go. Uh, you can check out the different sound effects. You can change them as well. And this is music. So I can actually play it during development. I haven't noticed. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is it. And you can switch to the different modes also with Alt, pressing Alt and the cursor keys. And you could get out with Escape. And you don't really see it. Uh, but yeah, now you're back in, in the edit mode and you can now go back to Explore if you want to and start editing things. Or um, with CLS, you clear the screen. Uh, or you can go back with escape into into the editor again and edit the game more or you can type run because the game is currently loaded now so you can just play run and it just starts the game and i think the guy should like flash green if we start playing now yeah there we go he flashes green because we changed one of the frames of the animation uh into him being green Right, and then you can press escape and then escape again and you're back in edit mode. So with escape, you're always going into edit mode and exit edit mode into this, this shell. All right, so if you want to get started, there's some, um, there's some basic functions that I wanted to show you first. So let's go with help again. And here you will see that you can, um, well, first of all, you can go install demos. If you install demos, it will. There is some cards, some cards like um, programs that are delivered with the game, with the package, which give you like some rough ideas of of you know how basic functions in in this in this um, in this engine work. Uh, because if you download like a big game that's already finished, there's a lot of things going on, and this might be difficult to understand what is happening. But these are like very simple demos that show you some basic functionality. Um, so we're gonna go back to Explorer because you can um, control and explore. So you can see it created a folder called demos. It wasn't there before. You can get into there and you can, you know, lo load any one of those. These are all different demos. Uh, let us go with hello world here. And that's it. So then again, uh, we're gonna go exit to explore and press escape and escape one more time. And now you can see how this little thing is made. It's actually just a very tiny little code here. And it shows you exactly you know, how, um, how the music play, how you play music, how you write, um, this is Pico 8 and nice to meet you and stuff like that. So, you know, you can reverse engineer this, you can change things. For example, now we go and go, oops. Uh, Never gonna give you up. And then escape, uh, type in run, and it says never gonna give you up. All right. Um, you can also like don't you, if you want you don't have to use the explore function, this explorer. You can also do with everything in code here. So again, we're gonna pull up the um, the list of things you can do here, and you can see um do i have a cursor here i don't you can see cd their name cd demos no cd demo s uh, ah! cd demo hmm. with dear you can uh show oh, um, we are already in the direction demos okay so cd dot dot uh this is weird oh cd 
space dot dot and that gives you a core and a root directory so now you can see we have a directory called demos that's the pink one and you can go cd change directory demos and we now we are in the demos directory and now we can see all of the files in here with drr and then we can load any one of those by going load for example woo now it loaded a different program and you can run this and it goes like this right so with cd you change directories uh with dear you list the contents of the directory you're currently in and with load and whatever name you don't have to type in the dot p8 you can just type in drippy for example drippy is really great and then run it oh actually yeah this is this so this uh controls like this little arrow here and it starts dripping very simple stuff right uh, and then, of course, you can also save. If you make any changes, you can type in save and the name of this. Um, my, uh, my thing. And then it saves um, my thing. Saves it as a new file. Um, so if you want to make changes, but you don't want to overwrite an old thing, you can um, you can uh, create a new file. And I think if you go dear now, you can see that we have my thing right here. Cool. A um, couple of more things I'm gonna show as we continue because I want to make a big like a big tutorial of how we make an entire game. There's a couple of little functions that I really like about Pico 8 and I really wanted to show you this. First of all, F1 saves a screenshot to desktop, just like that. But the most important thing is F4 saves a video to the desktop. So you can like, it's like four seconds of video. Like with F3, you can start a, set a starting point. So now the video recording starts and f4 saves the last four seconds to um to the desktop as a gif as a gif or gif whatever i really like this i <laughs> i hope more guys would would have it like more development engines would have it so this, by the way this doesn't matter where you do it so you can do it like here you can do it while uh, coding you can save the video of you coding to the desktop you can also save the video of the game to the desktop you can save whatever you want uh, another thing is also a very important key because I think it doesn't actually if you type help It doesn't actually show up here. So um, you can go key config And that gets you in a config config screen where it's like you can set uh, what what means what there's two player controls here mapped to the keyboard and now because I press down everything is mapped to down so now I broke everything uh, so I have to do it again with up or up with the up arrow. You can repeat the um, the previous command. So I do it again, left, right, up, down, like this, and the other one doesn't matter. Okay. So this is basically it. This is all you need to get started um, to start playing some games. Uh, again, go to explore, check out some games, see what what works, check out the demos that are in here. Uh, and if you already know how to program, you should. this should be enough to get you started. If you don't know how to program, I'm going to start now a series where I will go like step by step developing a video game. And if you like to learn how to work with Pico 8, how to work with video games, how to develop video games, then join me in this series. See you next time around, guys. Bye bye. <laughs>